I don't like phone cases, so I went out and made one. No, you know what? I don't like these phone cases. I've never found a single one that I've liked and wanted to use for any extended period of time. Oh, wow. Oh man, that's nice. It's soft touch, but it's crazy thin. Check out how thin that is, Jack. A phone case, it should be thin, really thin. And it should also be light. I mean, you should barely notice that it's on there. That's gotta be the thinnest case I've ever tried onto an iPhone. You will hardly even notice it there. Oh, Lou, Lou. Did you really think we wouldn't figure it out? Want daily tech news in a way that doesn't suck? Of course you do. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next episode. Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back from Page Tech, of course, the show that gives you all the latest tech news from one geek that is me to another that is you. Happy Monday. Oh, man, do we have an episode for you today. Oh, just a bunch of gold. It's all gold. We were up all night investigating, getting to the bottom of this, and we have the answers, and I've got to be honest. It doesn't look good. Huge shout out to Travis MCP for help on this episode. Literally could not have made it without him. He's actually also putting out a video about this at the same time we put this episode of Front Page Tech out. Link to his channel down below. Go subscribe and watch his video after this one. All right, put on your tinfoil hats and prepare your anus because this is some juicy sh**. So yesterday, Lou put out a video on Unbox Therapy about how he made his own phone case. He doesn't like any phone cases, so he made his own. It's called The Later Case. And even when you go to The Later Case's website, there's a page literally called Story that takes you to his video about the case. Because it's not just, hey, buy this phone case from Unbox Therapy. No, people. There are reasons. Many inspiration, much case. Wow. So this is all being painted as Lou, Unbox Therapy, the guy, top tech YouTuber in this space. Phones and phone accessories are kind of like his thing. And now he, the guy, has made his own phone cases. He even went as far as to say that other phone cases can ruin your phone. These cases can ruin your smartphone. But with this one, don't worry, because it's Unbox Therapy to the rescue. It's him, it's the guy. You can trust Lou. But then, you see, uh, things got weird. The CEO of a phone accessories company named Pitaka started tweeting that basically Lou totally copied their phone case. And if you look at Lou's case, the later case, and then look at the Pitaka case, oh man, are they close. But then people started to speculate, maybe, just maybe, Lou is reselling Pataka cases, or maybe he has had another manufacturer basically just copy Pataka's design. I mean, even Keemstar talked about this on Drama Alert last night. Well, we did the research and we have the answers. And oh boy, is it spicy. The good news? Uh, nope. Lou is not reselling the Pataka case. They look a lot alike, but they are not completely alike. There are slight, very, very slight differences, but Lou did most likely use that Pataka case as inspiration for his case, so much so that he felt the need to cover his tracks. I mean, I guess Lou could just say that it's just a coincidence and he didn't mean to, he had no idea, but if Lou genuinely did not have any idea, I would like for him to explain this. On Saturday, the day before he releases a video about his brand new phone case that he's gonna sell to his audience, Lou deleted roughly four and a half million views from his channel. That means one or more than one video got deleted the day before. So we took the shovel out and went digging. And what Lou probably doesn't remember is that if you put a video in a playlist, but then delete the video, that video still shows up in the playlist as deleted. So you guessed it, in his playlist called the Mega Unbox Therapy Session, which has about 850 videos inside of it, updated just a few days ago, in that playlist, there are two videos that have been set to private. Now, you may notice there is a video that says it was deleted. If you click on that, it tells you that it was copyright claimed by a different company. This one doesn't count. We're not gonna consider it. We're gonna throw that one out. But these two, right here, not deleted, 
but set to private. What are they? I mean, they could be any videos, right? You see, Lou has been talking about Pataka cases for years. And thanks to some shitty ass random blog who reposts almost all of Lou's content, you can see the title, thumbnail, and description of one of these videos. The title is Three Cool Gadgets Under $50. In that video, according to the description of the video, he talked about an iPhone 7 case from, yep, Pataka, and linked that case in the description. That video is one of the two videos that have been deleted or marked as private. As you can see, yeah, it's gone. Oh, but that's not it. There's more. It gets better. Pataka themselves, back when Unbox Therapy promoted one of their cases, posted a clip of Lou on their Facebook page where he's literally holding a mother f***ing Pataka case. And of course, you can find this video still on Pataka's Facebook, but you will not find it on Lou's channel. And remember in the video where Lou was trying to sell you his phone case, he said that he's never liked phone cases from anybody else? Well, in the clip of him talking about the Pataka case, he said this. Oh, wow. Oh man, that's nice. It's soft touch, but it's crazy thin. Check out how thin that is, Jack. But Lou's relationship with Pataka actually goes back a few years. And uh, the year after the iPhone 7 case, he covered the iPhone 8 case from Pataka. And personally, this is one of my favorite parts. In Lou's dramatic video about how he crafted his own phone case because all the other cases suck, he said this. I mean, you should barely notice that it's on there. Wow, funny you say that, Lou, because that's actually the same thing you said about the Pataka case. That's got to be the thinnest case I ever tried on an iPhone. You will hardly even notice it's there. And because we are also tech YouTubers, Pataka emailed me in the past asking us to review their cases. And in the email, they literally used Lou as an example, saying that, he uses the mag case as his daily driver. So even though Lou pretty much went back and erased all evidence of this stuff, we were still able to go back and find most of it. And you know what? It's fine if this was an accident and I want to give Lou the benefit of the doubt, but it's hard to do that when he obviously knew that there were similarities between his case and the Pataka cases and he went out of his way to private the videos, videos that went back two or three years. I mean, Lou, listen, these videos are set to private, which means they do still exist. You manually set them to private. You didn't delete them. So if I'm wrong, you could, I, I don't know, say just relist those private videos, make them public again. And if I'm wrong, when you relist those private videos, they definitely totally won't be Pataka videos. Right, Lou? You know, this whole thing really got me thinking. If I was a tech slash tech accessories YouTuber that wanted to come out with my own product, my own tech accessory, my own phone case, how would I do that? Well, of course, if it was me, I would look on Alibaba. For those of you who don't know, Alibaba is like Amazon, but specifically where Chinese manufacturers sell large quantities of products for you to buy in bulk and then go ahead and sell as your own. A lot of products that you see on Amazon are actually just products from Alibaba, rebranded and repackaged. This is normal. And I guess like if this is what Lou did, then cool. I wouldn't have a problem with that. that that's fine, cool, whatever. My issue is that Lou made this super dramatic video promoting his cases that he custom made. It was his idea, his design, and even Dave Lee tweeted about this saying, now this is how you make a phone case. And that's all really wholesome and inspirational even. But Lou, when you say that you made your own phone case, do you actually mean that you went to Alibaba? Like, I don't know, maybe you went to Alibaba, typed in carbon fiber iPhone case because it's just like that one Pataka case that you really liked so much and then clicked on literally the first fucking result. The first result on the page. Like you didn't even dig very far. Everything about the later case is the exact same on the 2019 special carbon fiber phone case for iPhone from Alibaba. The cutouts are the same, the ridge around the 
camera bump is the same. It's even the same thickness, Lou. In his video about his case, they measure the later case at 0.66 millimeters. This case that we're showing you on Alibaba, <laughs> the thickness is 0.65 millimeters. They even make the same cases for other models of phones, just like you have on your website. Oh, and if we go back to Alibaba, if we order a bulk order of at least 1,000 of these cases from Alibaba, you get your own custom packaging. How cool. The idea of Lou just having thousands of these cases sitting somewhere in his studio makes me laugh a lot. Now, who knows if this is really exactly the case that Lou ordered. I don't have the fucking receipt, but I mean... <laughs> Come on, it looks a lot like it. All of this looks so, so bad, even if his intentions themselves weren't bad. But man, it is really hard to try to find an excuse for him when he went back, went out of his way, privated all of those past videos, going back years, seemingly purposely trying to hide those videos, and then just ordered phone cases on Alibaba, pushing the narrative that he somehow manufactured his own. And I mean, speaking of hiding stuff, Literally the tweet that was on drama alert last night, this one right here, if you go to that tweet now, Lou hit it. It's just gone. Again, I would not have an issue with this, you know, him ordering from Alibaba. It's totally normal. It's how a lot of people sell products all the time. And if you never knew anything about Alibaba, I guess you wouldn't even think twice about this. But to make a video promo like that is if you fixed all the problems with phone cases, with nice music in the background, very inspirational, the whole thing about how you didn't like phone cases, so you went out and made your own. I don't like phone cases. So I went out and made one. But in reality, you kind of just ordered a Quack. ton of these cases from Alibaba. And it just, the whole thing makes this feel very, very icky. And hey, if you really like that case, if you really like Lou's $45 phone case, the ones with authentic Kevlar fibers that are hand laid by skilled craftsmen, precision formed to fit your phone that is laser cut to perfection. If you really want that, then we'll help you out. We'll leave a link in the description below. You can go buy the same case right now on Alibaba for $12.